Hey guys, it is me. So today it is raining outside and um, I didn't really know what I wanted to film this weekend, but I've been thinking about doing a favorites video for a very long time just because, I don't know, YouTube is like filled with a lot of hate. Like, 10 things I hate about blank. And honestly, I don't care. I thought I would talk about things that I love. Also, I haven't like sat down and just like chatted with you guys in a very, very long time. It's felt like it's been a very long time. It probably hasn't been that long, but it, it really has felt like it's been a long time and I'm not used to that. I wanna talk with you guys. So I thought I would just tell you guys some things that I like and have been liking this summer. And if you would wanna see more of this kind of like chatting and talking about things, videos, then please tell me because I think that this is fun and... But before we start, let me get coffee because I am a little bit sleepy. Good morning. Ah! Oh my god, it's frozen. Wow, this is very frozen. <laughs> Oh, let's try not to spill this. I probably am going to. Ooh. Ah. Ah! You just, just go. Thank you. I think I froze this a little bit too much. You just, okay. Okay. Great. Let us begin. So the very first thing on my favorites is my Polaroid camera. I've wanted one for a very, very long time, and I know it was like kind of last, like two years ago <laughs> to get one of these, but I just love it so much. I finally got to buying one. It was like $50, which like, isn't that bad for a camera, you know? And I love it so much. I got a white one. There's a little bird sticker on the on the little button because whenever people whenever I like ask strangers to use it I'm like just press the bird and then they get it. So yeah, here's my little I've taken a lot of photos as you can tell. <laughs> I've taken so far I've taken 60 photos. I need to buy a new film. I don't know, I just loved it so much. I like taking photos in California with it and like taking photos at VidCon. It was so much fun. Honestly, if I stopped using it right now, forever, it would be worth it. Like, I used it so much. It was such a fun part of my summer and something I really, really looked forward to. And yeah. Next on my list are these pins. A lot of you guys know this, but I'm like, obsessed with pins. I've been obsessed with them all year. I have like a whole bunch of them on my backpack. Look at all my pins. But the thing is they're all like they're all vintage pins and so you can't like buy them at a store or anything like that. So I started getting new pins that like are made by really cool people just to kind of I don't know that way like, if you guys saw a pin that I had and like wanted to get it I could tell you where to get it because I had so many people asking me like where I got things and then I would feel bad because I don't know, I found it at a random vintage store somewhere. But yeah, so I got these two, well I got four pins total from two different companies. They're both super, super cool. The first two pins I got are these two <laughs> pins. Um, I'll show close-ups of them. Um, they're from a company called Stillwater Supply and I found them on Etsy. I'll put their link in the description below. But um, there are these, well there's this Lana Del Rey one and everybody knows that I'm a Lana Ho. It's just the truth. I'm a big Lana Del Rey Ho. I love Lana Del Rey. And I thought that this little matchstick one was freaking like, how do you not fall in love with this? This is so adorable. I use matchsticks like every single day to light my candles because I'm a grandma. And pins are like, they're the perfect expression of me. Things that I would like our pins. I don't know how to explain this. It's I love them. Then I got these two pins from a company called Odds and Sods and they're like so <laughs> cool. They're beautiful actually. They're so pretty. This one is like a pill bottle and it says need my Netflix on it, which is so true because right now I'm like obsessed with Mad Men. And I thought that you guys would really like this pin and I really love it. It's so pretty and I love the gold. And then there's this one which is like a cabin in the woods and it's so pretty and I just 
I can't, guys. Pins are so beautiful. I'm so weird. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna continue. So yeah, this is by the company Odds and Sods, and I'll put the links to both the companies in the description below so you can buy any that you like, and I love them so much. Next on my list are these plants. <laughs> um, I've had this container for a while now, and I had this other, like, succulent growing in them, but while I was in California, they died. R.I.P so sad. So I just had this like empty container with dead plants in it. So me and my friend Ashley <laughs> went to the grocery store and purchased very valuable groceries which were these succulents and we made a nice container for these new guys and they're really cute. This one is fuzzy and it's very fuzzy and I like it. And then there's this one which is like small and purple and then there's this one which I already have like two of but they're so pretty, I can't help it. Also, you guys know that I always name my plants, and so please, in the description below, tell me what I should name these guys, and I'll put their little names on the container, <laughs> and we can be... What the heck? Like, I live in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why there's a police car, like, right by my house. Anyways, we can name these guys together, so please, in the comments below, tell me what I should name them. Next on my list is this t-shirt, which says Retro Mom on it. I, um, this has a funny story behind it. I made a video, like, telling you guys how to make these shirts, these soccer mom t-shirts. I really, really liked making them, so I made another one with this t-shirt that I got at JCPenney's for five dollars. And, like, I'm very particular about the types of shirts that I like. Um, they have to be thick but not too thick, and they have to be very, very soft for me to like them because I'm a brat, I know, <laughs> but my favorite shirt, it's so soft, I love it. It was only $5, and um, the way that I came up with the phrase retro mom is I only had like a few letters left to be able to use for the shirt because I'd use up a lot of letters, so I went on Twitter and asked you guys like what I should put on the shirt like with the letters that I have left. And there were so many good suggestions, but this lovely human came up with the phrase retro mom somehow, like with the letters that we had left, and I was like, that's absolutely perfect. So we all voted on it, and retro mom was what ended up on this t shirt, and I love it so much. I wear it all the time. And yeah, that's the retro mom shirt. There are cars outside of my house, and I don't know why. Like, there's never cars outside of my house. I live in the middle of nowhere. Last on my list is music suggestions, and I have Apple Music, so I don't really like buy CDs, which I really should, because if you want an album, just buy the CD. But I have a few suggestions um, that I found, some new things that I found that I really love, and so I thought that I would tell you guys them. First on my list is the album Pure Heroine by Lord. I know that this album is very, very old, well, not that old, but like, you know, a few years old, and obviously there was a huge craze around it, but I rediscovered it, like, a few weeks ago, and I've been listening to it, like, non-stop, like, it's literally the only thing that I listen to, and anybody who hasn't listened to the Lord album all the way through, you really should, it's, it's just genius, like, it's so good, and she was so young when she wrote it, and she was... She is just so, so, so incredibly talented. So if you haven't listened to it all the way through, in order, you really should. It is so, so good. So good. <laughs> so yeah, that's my first album suggestion. Next is a song called Refuse by Kevin Garrett. Um, I'm pretty sure Kevin Garrett opened for Alessia Cara's tour or something like that, but I didn't really like listen to any of his music. I ended up finding it randomly like on an Apple playlist and this song is like such a me song, like you know, I can't really explain it, but like you guys know how much I love harmonies, like every single one of my songs has like a billion harmonies on it, but um, this song is like harmonies to a new level, it is so beautiful, and when you're listening to it, it just like overwhelms you with voices and it's so, so, so pretty. And it's so good, like, it's just so good. Please listen to it. If you like any of my music, you will probably like this song because it's so good. It's called Refuse by Kevin Garrett. 
so good. Last music suggestion is someone that I've talked about before. <laughs> I'm a really, really huge fan of this artist named Billie Martin. She is just a singer-songwriter, but she isn't just a singer-songwriter. She's very, very talented. She's also very young, and um, she just came out with a whole bunch of singles for her new album, and I've been obsessed with them. Personal favorite is a song called La Lune, and it's so pretty. It just reminds me of, like, childhood and nostalgia. It is such a pretty song, and she is so incredibly talented, so if you haven't listened to any of Billy Martin's music yet, you really should. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I love music so much, guys. Uh, so that's basically it um, for this very first favorites video. If you did enjoy it, please tell me that you enjoyed it. Also, in the comments below, please tell me any of your personal favorites as of lately of anything because I love discovering new things and I love finding new things to fall in love with. There are so many things happening in my life right now. You know, I'm applying for colleges right now and I'm gonna be a senior in high school in two weeks, which is so insane. But I'm very excited and very happy and um, my life has been very, very fun lately. I'm glad we got to chat and just talk today. Like I said, I'll leave links in the description below and any of my social media is all down there. I use it a lot, so please go check it out and say hi to me. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. God bless and goodbye!